we will continue anemia by discussing a specific type megaloplastic anemia, how to diagnose megaloplastic anemia clinically and abruptly, and how to manage megaloplastic anemia. At the end of this lecture, we will differentiate between the megaloplastic macrocytosis and non-megaloplastic macrocytosis. We have two types of macrocytosis, megaloplastic and non-megaloplastic. In the beginning, we will uh, find the report for macrocytosis or macrocytic uh, red blood cells. You can see here the red blood cell results, red blood cell results from the automated cell counter. This is automated cell counter, and this is a report which we will discuss it. We will find that the MSV is 102 uh, femtoliter. It is uh, greater than the 95. Uh, Liter. So this is a macrocytic or uh, large red blood cells. You can see the histogram. This is the histogram in red color of the normal, while in the bluish uh, uh, discoloration, this is the uh, histogram of the macrocytic red blood cells. You can see here that the most of the red blood cells are in the large, in the large area, above 95. Uh, the mean about 95, and the most of the RPCs. Uh, uh, more than 95 into liters. Uh, what is uh, megaloplastic anemia? Megaloplastic anemia here in the Pumaro uh, has megaloplasts, immature, uh, immature red blood cells, abnormal, large. This is megaloplast. The definition of megaloplast is abnormal, large, uh, immature red blood cells. Uh, before uh, that, it's called normoplast. In the, the normal re immature red blood cells is called normoplast. But if it is large, it is called megaloplast. This occurs in the vitamin B12 deficiency and folate deficiency due to affection of the nuclear maturation. Nuclear maturation is delayed. So there is a synchronous, a synchronous uh, maturation between the nucleus and cytoplasm. Uh, the fit uh, in the DNA due to B12 and folate deficiency. You can see here large immature red blood cells, which is called megaloplast. While on the other side there is a normal plast. You can see also the nucleus, the nucleus of the immature mega, the megaloplast. Uh, here there is a delayed maturation in the nucleus in comparison to that of the uh, normal plast. You can see here normal plast. There is a condensation of the nucleus, while in the megaloplast uh, there is a lack of condensation uh, in the uh, nucleus. So the developing uh, red blood cells, or what's called uh, uh, immature red blood cells, there is a defect in the nuclear, nuclear maturation. While the cytoplasm is normal, so hemoglobin production in the cytoplasm is normal, but uh, this abnormal red blood cells lead to ineffective uh, recipes, ineffective recipes that lead to intramedullary destruction or intramedullary death of the late erythrocyte uh, precursors causing anemia. Uh, because of the DNA defect due to B12 and folate deficiency, uh, it will lead to uh, ineffective leukopoiesis and uh, uh, production of abnormal white blood cells called the hypersegmented, hypersegmented neutrophil. You can see here hypersegmented neutrophil. This one, you can see the loops or the segment of the neutrophil more than five. So it is hypersegmented neutrophil. The peripheral blood will contain hypersegmented neutrophil. This is very clear here in this picture. The segments or loops more than five, and also in addition to the hypersegmented neutrophil, is oval macrocytes. You can see oval macrocytes. Uh, oval macrocytes here, uh, we uh, put it in comparison with the normal, the normal side. Here is the normal, normal side, while uh, this is a macrocyte. Macro It is oval, you can see it is oval uh, macrocyte, which will differentiate it from the round macrocyte uh, due to macrocytosis without megaloplastic changes in other causes of the macrocytosis at the end of this lecture.